There are two basic ways a company can raise the money it needs to run its business. The basic concepts apply to any type of business organization, but this video will focus on corporations. One way a corporation can raise money is to issue shares of stock representing ownership or equity interest in the corporation to investors called shareholders. The corporation uses the proceeds to fund its business. This is called equity financing. The other way is for the corporation to borrow money, either from a bank in a traditional loan or from investors called debt holders, also called bondholders or note holders. Instead of stock, the corporation issues debt instruments called bonds or notes. The money that debt holders pay for these instruments is a loan, which the corporation uses to fund its business, but must pay back with interest at the specified time or times. This family of financing is called debt financing, which also includes factoring and many other kinds of financing not covered in this video. There are also hybrid instruments, such as preferred shares, that have the characteristics of both equity and debt. Hybrid instruments are not covered in this video. In future videos, I'll discuss the factors that companies must consider when deciding what kind of financing to obtain and what potential investors must consider when deciding whether to purchase equity or make a loan. Both kinds of financing have strings attached, as well as pros and cons for the investors. In the meantime, the key takeaways in this video are that there are two basic kinds of financing a company's operations, equity and debt financing, and that the shareholders and lenders who provide that financing are investors in the company. They might have different expectations about their investments, but both hope to make a profit. This is Jason Shea, and thank you for tuning into Law Stuff.